Welcome back. For this flat iron seating tech tip, we want to do just a quick feature on the AST 5200 suspension that Scotty's putting on his, his race car. It's a really cool product, but one of the things we realized is the AST, the manufacturer, is, is a brand you might not have heard of, especially in the Subaru community. So we want to just first tell you just a little about a bit about who they are. Um, if you've done any kind of research on high-end motorsports suspension, pretty reasonable chance you've, you've come across or heard of Moton. And AST is basically the North, North American division of Moton. And to give you an idea of, of how much they specialize in, in motorsports suspension or how well regarded they are, um, if you look at any given year of the 24 hours of Le Mans, that race, uh, you know, again, on any given year, there's probably 20 to 25% of the field that is going to be running a Moton suspension. So that's how much experience and how well regarded Moton is in terms of motorsport suspension. Um, in terms of Subarus, they, they're kind of new to the Subaru market. They, but they do make you know, a suspension for, for the STI. And Scotty's actually been running the 5100s for probably about three seasons. So the 5100s are, uh, it's a monotube suspension, but it's just one way adjustable. So as we mentioned in our, our uh, first coilover video, with the motorsports grade suspension, you, you want to you know, send it in and have it gone through probably about once a year, once a season. And Scotty had pushed that rebuild a little bit, you know, past where it was ideal. So, um, there's some wear components that needed to be replaced on his suspension anyway, but he also wanted to upgrade to you know the two-way uh, suspension. So, uh, just real quick note on that. So, a, a one-way adjustable uh, suspension is pretty much going to let you adjust the the, the rebound. Two-way gives you adjustment of the compression and rebound characteristics separately, and then there's even a higher version uh, like from the AC is 5300 and that gives you fast compression, slow compression and rebound all separately adjustable. Um, so he was wanting to upgrade to that and also he wanted to change the springers, springers that he was running. Uh, wanted to go with a stiffer spring front and rear. So when we were working with AST, you know, they mentioned that they had some new um, top hats that they were um, starting to work with and so all of that put together just made sense to just go with the 5200s and so that's, that's what we've done here. Um, so basically, you know, Scotty gave him the idea, or gave him the, the spring rate that he wanted to work with, and we were running Eibach springs, Eibach tender springs. But they're able to valve the strut to go along with the, the spring rate that he's running. And um, you, you, we've got the two-way adjustability. So this is a, it's an inverted strut. Um, and so this, this ex, uh, external chamber is what allows that uh, compression adjustment. And it also allows for more fluid in the strut, so it just kind of helps the, uh, the strut with uh, heat management and whatnot. But it, because it's external, it's not mounted to the, the strut itself, that means you can mount this to the body of the car, so that reduces on spring weight, so does the, uh, the, inverted, um, the inverted strut too. So there's, there's some good benefits there. The, the real neat thing that we found with this is uh, this taller top hat that basically takes all of the, uh, the spring seat uh, components that normally would come down about an inch and it brings them up into the top hat. So it actually gives an extra inch of travel. Um, one of the characteristics of these ASTs is they're one way adjustable. Uh, for ride height, basically you just can move the spring perch up and down. And so for that, they're designed around a certain range of ride height. And Scotty's target is to keep it, you know, to keep the car probably on, or pretty much on the, the bottom end of that ride height range. But what this taller top hat does for us is that gives him basically an extra inch of compression travel at that minimal ride height. So that's going to basically help uh, you know, the suspension work you know, perfectly at that minimum, minimum ride height. And that's, again, another reason why uh, it made sense to step up to the 5200s. You know, in the back, we, uh, we had a similar issue, or, or we had a similar issue to address as far as ride uh, or compression travel. What we ended up doing there is we found a Voodoo 13 lower control arm. And that's going to be a, a more in-depth subject of another video. But the shape of that lower control arm gives uh, the rear about an extra inch of travel as well, similar in similar fashion to this top hat. So both of those things combined with this 5200 uh, and with the higher spring rate, we, we can't wait to get this on Scotty's car and get it back to the track and, and see how it handles and, and start d dialing in the, uh, the compression adjustment. So, you know, Scotty's been running, you know, an R compound slick, about a 280 width uh, R compound slick with, you know, Brembo six pistons with aggressive track pants. So there's a lot of stress that's been going through uh, for, from cornering and from braking through the suspension. But the ASC, ASC's, you know, the 5100's held up really, really well. Um, and so we have high hopes and, and expectations for these 5200. So it's going to be a really neat suspension. Um, 
not something that you see every day, at least not yet with the Subaru community, but um, you know, as more people are getting word of, of what AST is and what they're doing, uh, it's probably going to become you know, more and more common at the track. So thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and stay tuned for more Flatirons Tuning Tech Tips.